I'm going to show you how to get the cranial vessel candle stand. This is behind an imp statue in the giant conquering hero's grave. Zooming out a little bit for those that don't know where we are. This is a back end of the game. It's very difficult to get up here early. In fact, I don't think you can actually get to the snowfield areas early. Um, and is one of the more, confu more confusing places to get to because you can see it quite early on in the zone after you've gotten through the forbidden lands. What you'll actually need to do is you'll need to come on around here, um, side through the cliff, across this long looking land bridge here, up to the river, you'll come to the west, up an airlift, and then loop on around across this bridge here, all the way around this way, all the way down past the lake. You can then now head west, and then come to the south. When you finally get to the giant's grave post, you can come across this way, run past a load of hand enemies, and then finally jump across the ravine to make your way to the giant conquering hero's grave. Once you've made it here then, this place is quite nasty, I have to say. And there are in fact two areas that have the imp statues. We've already done the first one. So right now we're going to head on through the through the cave here. Not cave, the catacomb, giant's grave. I'm going to jump on through here just to make things a bit quicker. Um, just bear in mind that if you're going through here kind of the long way, there'll be a, uh, a flame turret thing up there. And there will be one of the watchdog burial, one of the burial watchdogs just around here. You'll have to use this to make it corporeal if you want to fight it. Then head around this way. You'll probably see flames coming down here, so you want to duck into the left and shoot that way to bring this back to bring this one down. Fire monk on the right, so don't let this one trick you. And then run on past this and up the stairs. At this point, then you're going to have another fire monk on the right hand side. Take care of him and then fire another arrow to bring this to send that back up. I kept it down right now for the ease of you guys being able to see what we need to do. But you'll see when we get up here. Oh, wait a minute, that looks really weird. That's not usually on. That's really interesting. So, usually what happens is uh, when that's down there, this doesn't switch on. I think I have a bit of glitch here. Um, whereas when it's down, you don't get this ring and there will be a group of imps in here that you'll need to fight. So, um, you'll need to send that back up. Unless maybe you can quit out and reload back in. I'm kind of in, I'm kind of intrigued by that now. But anyway, that's what you're supposed to do. Use the um, use your stone sword key on the imp statue, and then we can come on in with the cranial vessel candle stand. Why did I miss where the cranial where the imp statue was? It must have been further at the beginning. Let's have a double check here. Yes, here we go. So use your stone sword keys there. Head on in. And you'll be all good. I hope that helps you guys out. And I'll see you all in the next video.